Alright guys, more class footage from last week. Noon class. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, Alex trying to get his head for a second higher than Jason's. Louie and Kyle. Cheater. <laughs> Space Josh. That's a good joke. Come on, Kyle. You should be coming up for a switch or standing up on that one. You got to keep that hand higher, Alex, so that Jason can't get a good isolation for that uh, shoulder control because then the choke is easy at that point. Barry and Gabe battling. To ultra heavies who used to be middleweights. Love it. TFS finest. Yeah, good pass, Sarah. Careful about putting that butterfly hook in, JB. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you got there. Maybe it's okay against Alex, but careful with the... Because your knee line was already kind of compromised when you were trying to pull to uh, butterfly. But Alex was in it to win it and got stuck in single leg X. Josh is doing a great job over here, monitoring all the kids and watching these rolls. Were those feet? What is going on back there? <laughs> nice chapa choke slash bucket choke. Whoever this is, careful, you're too far forward. That's that's a bad spot for your arm. was that watch out Mike's setting up the arm bar possibly here I think that's Stacy Close this sweep. Next time, take that arm mic off when you fail. If the sweep fails, must be time. Skip you ahead. Six stand up right there. Very nice. What was that? Oh, Jesus. The Asotagari might be... I don't like 50-50 stuff. Don't work the Asotagari too much, Josh. Might work all right for you because you're giant, but I, I'm not a huge fan of anything that is a 50-50 position. Anywhere in jiu-jitsu, by the way. If we can have an advantage, take an advantage. If it's higher risk, there's probably something else that you could have done that was lower risk. Nice try trying to get into the smash, Alex. You just didn't quite have my knee line um, with your hip in front of my knee line so you could collapse. And then, yeah, it's going to be an easy sweep. That's why we cross the ankles, guys, for the easy pass. If you need to see that again, we'll watch that footwork in slow motion. Because this is what I want everybody to be able to do. Barry eyeballing his next victim. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hit the sweep here, toes plant. As it comes over, we windshield wiper those feet right into side control so we never get stuck in any kind of guard. 
And obviously, Alex being a blue belt is probably one of the best people um, on the planet. So you know if I could hit that on a highly blue belt like Alex, that it works really, really well. Especially since it was in the training room. Because that's the same exact thing as competition. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Omar getting heavy. Whoever this is, careful where your arms are because you're going to get Ezekiel'd. No, thanks for thinking about it, Omar. You could definitely still Ezekiel. Pressure tap, Josh. Pressure tap. We got that on camera. No pressure tapping. You sit under there and die like a man. Never pressure tap. If we can help it. Next time, get your hands in a better spot. And Omar, don't be a jerk, Ezekiel. Whoever's going with Josh, don't recommend being under him. I think it's Mike. Can't play close guard, though, against him. Haven Jiu-Jitsu, Nyatt Plan at its finest. Josh, you put his head into the wall. That's what they're there for. Guys, there's a time and a place for chain subbing. Um, I might chain sub somebody if they're, or attempt to, anyways, um, if they're getting ready, like for a competition and it's a few weeks out where uh, it kind of exposes things that we need to work on. But in general, guys, I'm not a huge fan of uh, beating the absolute living shit out of my students and chain subbing them. Um, I'd rather let them work in positions a little bit. I like to feel out their progress when I'm rolling with them, see how much they're improving in areas as a class that we need to work on. Um, so yeah, that kind of, if you have an instructor who's chain subbing the crap out of you, um, they are either a competitor and they need the practice, or they're being an asshole. So um, I think everybody in this room has tapped me out at least one or two times. Uh, you should be letting your students go through the motions. Because remember guys, here at Haven Jiu-Jitsu, training is to get better. Nobody gives a fuck if you get tapped out in training. Somebody is dying over there. <laughs> kapow, kapow. I don't know what that monkey's doing. These friggin' kids. Oh, there's two monkeys. Fantastic. Omar, you should have just kept trying to make Josh's head parallel with your head. Gabe, you got the underhook. Just turn in, man. Just turn in. I know it's been a long time, but eh, nice try trying to step over choke on him. Good job, Jameson. Hiss lock. Because they're funny to attempt. Keeps people honest, too, when they're gripping. I think I need a cage to put the children in over here. <laughs> oh, look at Mike. Could have came up on top. Instead said, F it. I'm going to armbar Josh. Josh, you just need to go to turtle quicker. Not stay in turtle, but get to turtle quicker. It's going to be unstoppable. I don't like where that hand is. You got Nope. Thumb and forefinger down towards the mat, Alex. Worry more about his feet, Sarah. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, man, Alex is really beating the snot out of me. So good.
careful, you. That's why your knees go out. Why do my knees hurt so bad? That, that is why your knees hurt so bad. God. All right, guys. A little breakdown from uh, previous class. Um, might get another one in today. Just depends on how uh, how busy I am. So uh, very nice, guys. Uh, see everybody this week.